In today's video, we're working on exercises that are great for those of you mamas that have abdominal separation from your pregnancy or any postpartum mama who just wants to work on improving your tummy area. So all you need is your mat and we're gonna start lying down. So just coming onto your side to get down onto your back. And then we're gonna begin with some bridge lifts. So go ahead and just take your feet as wide as your hips and then press your feet down into the mat. You're gonna take a pelvic tilt as you roll your hips up, lifting and pushing your hips up as high as you can here. We're gonna draw the navel in, wrap the core muscles in, and then you're just going to bring your right knee up towards your chest, just like this. And then drop the leg back down. And in, and down, and in, and down. We're gonna do six more, one, Two, keep pushing down through your left foot to stabilize you. Three, four, five, six, and carefully, slowly roll down your spine, bringing your whole back down onto your mat. We're gonna take 10 on the other side, so just the same. You're gonna roll up now, pushing your hips up high, lifting up as high as you can, just adjusting. You're gonna press your right foot down into the mat now and bring your left knee in. Keep your hips lifted high as you do that. For three, four, five, keep lifting, stay strong. Six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, 10, and slowly with control, roll down onto your back. Just hug your knees into your chest. We'll take a little rock from side to side, just releasing the lower back. And then go ahead and just bring your knees up now. From here, I want you to flatten your back as much as you can to your mat. So as you do that, you'll feel that your core engages. And then you're just going to tap your right toe down and bring it up. Tap, bring it up. Tap, bring it up. You've got six more. One, keeping your back flat as much as you can. You want to feel your muscles really activated, hugging in here. One, two, three, four, and release. We're going to switch over and do the other leg. So just setting yourself up again, flattening your back, engaging your muscles, breath in, and we're going to tap the toe and bring it back up. Tap the toe and bring it back up. Let's go for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and release, nice work. Bring your feet down onto the mat and then we're just gonna sway the legs from side to side a few times to release. Okay, now just bringing your feet together on your mat and I'm just gonna get you to drop your right knee out to the side, just like this. So you can bring your hands either to the ground or you can bring them onto your belly somewhere and you're just gonna drop the leg out. Now it will be different for you how far your leg goes down and then drawing back up so really feeling how your inner thigh muscles are working here and also your lower abdominals as well. So just moving with as much control as you can. It can be tempting to move a little faster and rush it, but we want to really learn to engage and isolate the muscles that we're working with. Let's do three more. One, two, 
three and up. Let's drop the other knee now. So the left knee is going to drop down, externally rotating through your hip here. As much as you can, keeping your back flat to the ground. We're going to do four more. One, two, three, four, and up. Nice work. Okay, so just bring your legs up again. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take your legs wide and tap your toes just like this. Tap the toes to the ground and hug in back up. Tap your toes to the ground and then we hug and draw and suck everything up back up together. Let's go again. One, two, back flattening, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, you got two more, nine, ten, and hug your knees in, just release, let your core muscles rest just for a moment. And then just bringing your legs back up into the air like this. And what you're going to do is as you engage, so we hug everything in, you're going to push your legs out and then draw them back in. Now your legs might be higher, you might want to drop your legs lower down, but what I want you to be sure of is that you're staying very engaged, very controlled, your back isn't lifting high up off the mat. If it is, it's just telling you that you need to... Uh, to take your legs a little bit higher. It's a little bit too challenging for those muscles. So take a breath in. And then as you exhale, you're hugging in back, flattening. We're gonna push the legs out and in, out and in, out. Push through your heels so legs are strong. One, seven more, two, Three, four, five, six, one more, seven, and release. Nice work. Okay, just come over onto your side. Come over onto your right side. You're going to have your right leg bent like this, and then you're just going to go ahead and stretch out your left leg. Now bring your knee in. We're going to lift the hip and push the leg out. Knee in, lift the hip, push it out. Knee in, open the hip, push it out. Just warming up the muscles. One more. Okay, keep your legs stretched out and then we're just going to take some circles. Three more circles. And release. And we're going to switch on over and do the other side. So you're just going to bring your knee in. We're going to circle the leg around, push your leg back out. Bring the knee in, circle your leg around, push the leg out. And as you do this, you really want to make sure that you're staying engaged through your core. So you want to draw in here rather than just letting everything be loose and hang out. Let's keep going. Knee in, circle around, push the leg out, circle around. Push the leg out. Let's do two more. And then stretch your leg out. And we're going to take those circles now. So 
So absolutely you feel your leg muscles, your hip working here, but it's very much requiring the strength of your core as well to stabilize you, to hold you in this position. One, two, and three. Beautiful work. Come on up now. I'm going to get you to come over onto your right knee. We're going to be on the fingertips of the right hand and you're going to stretch your left leg out, left hand onto your hip. And all you're going to do here is we're going to hug in and you're going to lift your leg up. Tap the heel. Leg up, tap the heel. Up, tap the heel. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, almost there, six, seven. Switch on over to the other side. So really important that you set up, you're engaged, and then we go ahead and lift the leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, and 10. Great work and release. So there you have it guys, just a quick routine you can do to start to really heal your abdominal muscles. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you for the next video. Bye.